It will take some time, but usually not too long. Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to talk a bit about uh, cross connects. <laughs> That's why probably Jordi from the support department. Uh, so Jordi, what is uh, cross connect? Um, a cross connect is basically uh, a cable going from one rack to the other. So it's very simple. Yes, as simple as that. And and wh why would somebody want to have a cross connect? To uh, create connectivity between racks, or um, connecting to another pop or carrier or something like that. Ah, all right. So how can a client request a cross connect? Um, in the client panel, panel there is a support tab. You can click it, um, create new, uh, new remote hand, and there is an option for uh, create a patch request. That's just a patch request. Yes. Right. Is there anything I need to add to uh, this? No, it's basically a form which you, uh, which you fill in. There is a um, source unit and source port, and a destination unit and destination port. Ah. And destination rack, of course. Ah, yes, yes. And um, does it take long for you guys to install a cross connect? Normally not. It depends on the distance of the cable, if we have it in stock or not. Maybe we need to order it. It will take some time, but usually not too long. All right. And what if I... Um, can I also uh, provide my own cable? Yeah, sure. You can uh, ship it to our data center and we can use it for, uh, for the cross connect. All right. All right. So is there anything I need to keep in mind when connecting to a different service? Uh, you will need a LOA, a letter of authorization, which tells it uh, it's okay to use that port ah. or, uh, in that rack. Oh, all right. I think that pretty much uh, covers it. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any uh, questions or uh, regarding this topic or any other topic, uh, please let us know. You can drop them in the comments or wherever. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.